channel. So today we're gonna be making a chocolate mole zaz, which is rich in spices. And we're gonna be adding this to fried plantains. This will really awaken your taste buds. It's very unique, like all of my recipes. Let's get started. To make this mole sauce, I'm starting off by roasting 8 tomatoes along with a few small green tomatillos. A red bell pepper is roasting and 2 dried chile anchos with the seeds removed. This is going to add that smoky taste along with one cinnamon stick. Now toast everything on a medium high heat until it's charred, being careful not to over toast the chiles. I'm slicing diagonally about five plantains. These are ripened and sweet, which goes perfectly well with that mole sauce. Add them to a saucepan that has about a quarter cup of oil. Heat it up on a medium high heat. And these plantains are gonna fry up until they're golden brown and their sugar has caramelized on both sides. If you guys are new to my channel, I post quick and easy recipes every other day and they always have a unique twist to them, like this one right here, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss out. Put these platanos off to the side and we're gonna finish making this mole sauce. This is one cup of pumpkin seeds which have been toasted in the same saucepan as the tomatoes and I'm adding them to my food processor along with a quarter cup of toasted sesame seeds. By toasting these seeds, the oil is gonna bring out that earthy flavor which will really enhance the flavor of this mole sauce. Next goes in all of those roasted tomatoes and chili peppers along with that cinnamon stick and I'm gonna pulse this all together until it's a smooth sauce. I'm then adding this mixture to my pan, which I fried the plantains in. This has about two tablespoons of oil and the sauce is gonna fry for a few minutes. To finish this sauce, I'm adding the best part of all. This is 16 ounces of chocolate, which has been imported from the beautiful country of Guatemala. There really isn't anything that compares to this chocolate. Try using another brand like Ibarra or Abuelita's hot chocolate. And to sweeten this mole sauce, I'm adding one half cup of sugar, once this begins to simmer and all of that luscious chocolate has melted, go ahead and add all of those heavenly fried plantains and allow this to simmer on low for about 20 minutes. You guys, this recipe, it's so dear to my heart. If you try this one day, like I was saying, it will awaken your taste buds because there is nothing in the world that can compare to this rich Mayan indigenous taste. Don't forget that the recipe is listed down below in the description box. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.